Why May 21st? No, don't give me no pamphlets. Just let me know. Bible doesn't work that way. Well, 7,000 years from Noah's flood. 7,000 years from Noah's flood? No, I'm not going to read it. Don't give it. Second month, 17th day, 600 years, Noah's life. 7,000 years later, Second Peter chapter 3. Uh huh. That. Word, thousand years, thousand years right. The same word was kept in the Seven thousand years from Noah's flood, 2011, huh? Now, how many people believe this that it's going to end on that day? All of God's elect will believe. Well, I understand, but I'm saying as of today, how many people believe it? Like, what's like what approximate number? I like are you members of a small group, a small Christian group? Even people that listen to your Christ family radio. No, uh huh. But uh, so far as the whole seven thousand years thing. Who did the math on that one? I did the math. Huh? Wait, so you're the guy in charge of the figuring this out? No. God is the one in charge. Okay, well, who told you about this? Who told you this is 7,000 years? Who did the math first? One person, his name was Harold Camping. He's a older guy in his 80s. He studied the Bible for about 50 years. Uh huh. And he noticed there's a timeline history in the calendar. And then someone else noticed something, and we all started. Yeah, but you, you know that, like, um, traditionally, I think all the different religious groups have a very different reckoning. They would hold that it's about 5,000 years since Noah's flood. I mean, all of them, from James Archbishop of Armagh, James Usher, to the Jews, to the Muslims, every, everybody's got the reckoning that has about 5,000 years from Noah's flood, about 6,000 years from the beginning of the world, that kind of thing. So they're doing their homework, and that's what we have to do too. But God, so they got about a thousand years off. I don't even, I'm saying, I know a little bit of the math too. I don't see where your numbers from at all. Well, I, I have. I, that's why I don't know where you get your numbers from. I tried to give you a check, but you weren't interested. Oh, you, you, if you have a whole list of, if you have like the math there, I'd be interested. We wish we had the math there, but it gives you the premise. Well, okay. You want to Bible Fellowship all of it's on there. Boston math. Yeah, some of the math is there. All right, so let's see. Oh, if you're really interested. Yeah. No. If you're really interested, um, the timeline of history is not in this book, but it definitely talks about everything here. But do you really have the time to? And are you really interested in studying? No, it? no, I don't believe any of this. I think religion is nonsense. That's what I'm saying. We don't have time to talk. But I do. But if there's one thing that I know, it's it, it's it's biblical history. If, if there's one thing I know in this world, is you know. If you believe it's nonsense, here's the thing. You, gotta, you gotta wait on the Lord, and perhaps He might open our spiritual eyes. Well, I mean, look, Solomon when he when Solomon dedicates the temple, so he 930, says. Nine thirty-one. What 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 calendar are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about Christian 90, calendar. Nine sixty-seven. BCE. Or BC. Right, nine sixty-seven. You know, yeah, approximately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More or less. Very good. Um, so he he says that it's so so and so many years from the Exodus from Egypt, like three hundred and some odd years from the Exodus of, e okay. Exodus of Egypt, right? I thought it was four hundred. Four hundred. I think you're right. Four hundred. Very good. Right. So and if you go from Egypt prior to that, so we have the lineage of Moses. The Egypt thing is a little messy, right? It says that people were in Egypt four hundred and thirty years. That's what it says right, in Exodus. Right. We just did a study on that. Yeah. Sometimes it says four hundred. Sometimes it says four hundred and thirty. It says, it says a few different things, first well, of all. It's confusing. When we, when we talked to Jacob, when Jacob told Pharaoh, he says, how long, how old are you? He said 130 years old. Right. We learned that for 30 years, that tribulation period was still going on after, if I understand correctly, when Jacob was in Egypt. So it's also 400 years and also 430 years. It's well, that he didn't start oppressing them. No, fair enough. I mean, it says, it says a whole bunch of different things. God bless you. No, I just no, I just wanted to learn more about it. That's how you learn more about it. That's how we learn everything, like a newspaper. If you really want to learn about it, there's a seventy page book there. That's if you're really, really challenged. Are you really do you really want to know? Do you really want to know by God's mercy? This is going to happen. What it is I don't know what it is. Like what this is God's word the Bible. There's a timeline of history, Genesis chapter five and eleven. And we find out that a lot of Noah's Day happened in 4990 BC. Second month, the 17th day, the 600 year of Noah's life. If you read in 2 Peter chapter 3, God says that the same word is kept in store to the destruction and perdition of ungodly men. Beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. In the whole Bible, God says not to be ignorant of this one thing. That's why you're right. Even though it was 5,000 years, 6,000 years. So where do you get the, where do you again? What's the clue? Genesis chapter 5 and 11. Right. It has the lineage stuff. Kad Hashem is the key Hebrew word that lets us know the distinct father's word? relationship. The Hebrew word Kad Hashem. Kad? All his name. Kad Hashem. Kad Hashem. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. When we see Seth, he got a son and he called his name Sure. Right, right. 
Adam was 130. Well, years. Seth had Enosh. Enosh. Enosh right. Yeah. Every time it's that Kad Hashem there. Right, right. If you if you go down very carefully, and Family Radio has definitely provided some some material that you can find out how we derive. No, so what does Kad Hashem give give away? It's a clue that lets us know that it's from patriarch to patriarch. So when we see. But here's the thing: if you take the numbers, if you do the math, right? I. I got people have, but they got it wrong. They got it with but but it's, it's there in the Bible. Adam, Seth, Enosh, Canaan, Mahalalel, Yered, Enoch, Methuselah, right. Lemek, Noah. But then we've been doing the math wrong. We just added, 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 added. What else are you going to do? But the Kad Hashem right. actually makes the dates even more, 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 and more. How? I wish I had the... See, that's where the I math is sketchy. I wish, huh? What to do? Read the Bible and pray to God for mercy. That's all we can do. You cannot save yourself. I cannot save you. I'm a sinner. I'm a rotten sinner. And I need a savior. Sorry, I'm still not sure what's happening. Uh-oh, happening. here comes the big gun. <laughs> um, I'd offer you another option. You could Greg, follow me. Give me all all your stuff. Greg, Greg is very good. Um, that can save you, too. Huh? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I heard you say Karashem. I thought that was good. And he said it right, too, so you know that he was kind of fooling. Karashem shows you can meet your father's son. Like All right, well then where do you get the extra years what I'm trying to figure right. out? And that's where, like if you look at Genesis 11 and the genealogies there, yeah. with our facts at uh, Sela, you'll notice... Ever, Pelag, Rus, Rug, Nachar, Terach, right. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, etc. Well, our facts at the Gat Sela in Genesis 11, uh -huh. if you go to Luke chapter 4, where God gives the genealogy of Jesus, it, of course he reverses it, but it's our facts at Cain and Sela. So you have somebody in between. Uh -huh. That proves that the, it's not an immediate father. Right, I follow what you're saying. You know what I mean? So that's where the missing years would be, because it's, it's more of a... It's, and that's where, if you look at that word begat, it's not always immediate father's son. There's other examples where we know, flat out, it's not immediate father's son. It's how you say the word begat. Really? Right. Okay. So look up that word begat. Well, I don't... Uh, well, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't, I, don't, oh, I, don't believe, I don't believe in religion of any <laughs> kind, but... I, I, wow. I hear you. Interesting, yeah. cool. You how many people are in your group? Don't 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 send away your own plane ticket. Wait, this is sorry. So I'm sorry. I'm so confused because it's not even clear to me because this isn't even started. We just got these. Right. Right. Um, so what exactly is happening? Like the world ending. Question. You and I were in a generation where the last generation, not just, we're in the sorry. generation of Christ. Okay. We believe the Bible. God is God is God. He's declared His word. Okay. His word has. But a, sorry, I'm confused. What is happening on this day? Ah, oh, the believers will be raptured up to heaven. The unsaved will be left down here for okay. five months so we'll to be destroyed on October 20th. Okay. Wait, so a little bit there? Yeah. A little. Yeah. Well, 1 Corinthians 15 talks about the resurrection of the dead. You've got to watch, because if someone snaps you, I can't run up the stop, please. We are truly saved. It's an incredible future for the child of God. But if we're not sick, we don't care about the Bible, we're just living. If we're not, if we just want this life. And that's all. And we don't mind dying because we're, we're pardoning ourselves. How are we going to die? It's really scary. Like, yeah, I mean, I mean like, you know I'm going to work in a hospital. I'm going to be taking care of these people who are dying. Like, what's going on? Uh, so maybe he doesn't look so convinced, though. you got to work on him. Yeah, I mean, look at him. He's got a smirk on his face. If you're one of God's uh? <laughs> you could be. You no, I, I'm scared. Like, how are we going to die? Are we going to, like, melt? Or are we going to, like, fly really? up into the sky? Like, well, it's really scary. Yeah, you're, you're skeptical of the thing, yeah? Yeah, I'm with you on this. <laughs> you know people die, right? Yeah, people do die. What happens when someone dies? You rot. Right. That's it. Yeah. It's it. Yeah. If you were saved, you would be Why would I possibly believe in that? Because it's what God says. But we I don't know there is a God. What? I don't know that there's a God. I'm, I'm, How can you say that? <laughs> I mean, you know, you well, I mean, well, we could, you know. You think you came from a trilobite? Or, or the state. No, I think we're related to the trilobites, but I don't think I could. Yeah. There are cousins? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Alright, if there is a God, may He strike me down right now with a heart attack. God is so merciful that He wouldn't do that. He's going to let you stay in your own. Come on. If I'm not safe, He lets us stay in our own unbelief until we die. That's how great God is. Okay. This whole world is God's children, right? Are we all God's children? In a sense, in a sense we are. But he only loves his own. I'm a brother-in-law, kind of. But we're all related to God. I'm just kidding. I'm messing with He only loves his own, and his own is everyone. Gentlemen like you and I, we have good jobs, we make good money, and we're living the, 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 the wonderful grace that God has given to all mankind. Some people don't, don't do so well. 
but God has reserved a special gift to live forever in eternity with Him, so, to know Him, so to worship Him. In this, are we, are we not experience it's not based on what you do. You cannot, like, you cannot earn your way into heaven. If you're chosen, you will be His elect. You could be chosen. You could be chosen. chosen. Wait, are you, you going to be so you're Calvinist? Chosen, then what's the point of no, even giving this out? Not Calvinist. We're just Bible is. Wait, so you believe that you're pre-chosen or not? So, so, so what's the point? You know why? Because we don't know who God's elect are. You could be one of God's elect. Well, we share the Bible. Remember that verse? I love, I love the Bible, but it ain't, it ain't entertained strangers, un angels unawares. When you give the, the gospel to someone, yeah. you don't know if that seed is going to take root or become an angel. I mean, well, look, I, I love the Bible, but I don't think that it's, uh, I don't think that it's, you know. <laughs> God is, God is a strong, powerful force, no matter what we believe. I think it's, it ain't true. I think it's nonsense. Look, I think it's good stuff. Don't get me wrong. You know, nice to meet you, brother. My name is Moshe. My name is Gary. Gary, nice to meet you. So, uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you, too. May the Lord bless you as well. God bless you. I, look, I wish it were true. Huh? A grape? No, no, thank you. No, thank you. What? No, but it might be the fruit of knowledge of good and evil. I want to be, uh, I want just the fruit of, of uh, the tree of life. Me too, you too. The devil right, even the devil believes in God. At some point in time. But he's so if I believe that I'm not chosen one, I'll still be up there? Nope. No. Okay, Hell. So that sucks if you believe that I'm chosen one. Right now, you have a certain amount of information, and you're basing that in your, your rationalizing it with all of your knowledge. Here's the true test for you. If you're really concerned, open up your Bible. Ask the Lord to open up your eyes if it's too real. God will do the rest. And salvation See, if he chooses, not you ever go before a President of Barack Obama? Do you make demands before him? Wouldn't you be kind of respectful? Would you be like Barack Obama? You do this, you do that. You might, if you hate him. But if you were a powerful, wicked king or a powerful ruler, you'd be very like, oh, sir, please, you know. But God is, he's the creator of all heaven and earth. He knows everything. He sees everything. He's all powerful. We can't demand God to live forever. He gives it to whom he wants. Well, I'll tell you, the thing is this. I don't think that a God like you imagine exists. In other words, yeah, there's an everything. I, I mean, if we want to... But like a... Re really? You can't? Try. But if there is a God that, that is that is entirely in control of everything... Yes, 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 I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ksil Omer Belibo, Ain Elohim. That's the verse in Hebrew. Um... If there is a God, though, who's really in charge of everything and can do everything, I think he's one evil son of a bitch. I mean, seriously. He'll leave you in your darkness and you'll die and never live forever. Uh, you're right. But when you see people living forever and you're left behind in this earth, that's Good luck, guys. Read the Bible. <laughs> it didn't do much good for me. Maybe you're not one of God's life. I think you're probably right. Maybe I'm not one of God's life. Well, come on. You're still time. You're alive. Read the Bible. All right, Gary, an honor, an honor. Nice to meet you. Well, you're a, a Bible student? I don't even know what to do to you. I'm blind on from Episcopalian. What's that? I took up Judaism. You took up Judaism? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I can take a look. Why is it nice? I, I'm, I, it's not, I suppose what you're supposed to say. It's polite to say it's nice. It's not, uh, yeah. Okay. You're, you're, what do you want me to say? What should I say? Is it stupid? I think it's... Uh, you know, what should I say? I'm a polite person. Oh, I'm Jewish, of course. I was raised Jewish. I'm not a believer in Judaism, but I was raised that way. Yeah. You're a very smart man. But don't see, let your... Thank you. The duty, the, see, the Jewish people didn't follow through. Don't let him... Well, yeah, okay. They didn't follow through. They missed the whole... Hey, person I, of the Messiah. I ain't one of them. What can I say? You know, I... I yeah. They, they missed the whole person of the Messiah. Maybe that's the good thing. The Judaism, they don't... The Judaism, they don't have salvation. They don't have salvation through Christ. No. Well, no. it's like the church is today. They don't have the Holy Spirit. But they feel like... We they don't go to church. They feel like they... Speaking of which, where does Obama go to church? Okay, I know you don't care, but I'd love, I'd love to go tomorrow to see him. Before I heard he was uh, at a church in the Church of Christ or something. Church of Christ? <laughs> Obama ain't going to no Episcopal, no, uh, you know, Pentecostal, one, writhing one. on the floor, speaking in tongues place. I think that one doesn't even believe in, in Christ's deity. I think that one, right? They don't believe in Christ's deity. We got 19 months for this. I pray for him. All right, all right. Pray, Fine, you know what? All right. It may not be too I accept personal. Jesus Christ, my personal Lord and Savior. You don't have to accept. What else do I have to do? Believe, what else do I have to do? So what do you want me to do? You, can't you do believe, and you have to... <laughs> 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 see how it puts us down, you right? got a split kind of thing here. On the one hand, you're all... you got, like, the whole repent thing going, and you're saying, read the Bible, read the Bible. He doesn't need us. It did say repent. Repentance. It's being covered now, but it's... You know, many... Are you judged, ready, that kind of thing? Yeah. So, if you're one of What's that? Like, 
And focus on his humility. Messiah's right. humility, not, not our own. Okay. Not my own humility. Let me tell you, I'm a proud person. A proud person, you know? Proud. I stumbled before. But I hear you. Pride becomes, uh, what, pride, pride comes before, before a fall. Yeah. Okay. And I did many times. And you're so smart, you're intelligent, you make good money. I don't make good money. That's very wrong. That's an inaccurate statement. Very compared to everyone else, I don't make good money. In the world, no. Sure, if you look in the world, top percentile in the world. Worldwide, I'm doing fine. Ah, an honor. What's that? No, I'm not. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read it. Don't waste it on me. Give it to someone who's going to read it. One hundred seven point nine. All right. Yeah. They have a local one hundred seven point nine.